minus four degrees Celsius and 30 centimeters of powdery snow. Ideal skiing conditions. Anyone who wants to strap on their skis here in Oberhof in Thuringen in late summer has to swap their shorts for winter clothing. But that doesn't put off Aunt Fischer from Coburg. If you like to ski, then you like to ski the whole year round. And when you get the opportunity, then you should take advantage of it. The 33-year-old has only come here because of the new hall. He has been skiing since he was a child. It's fun, brilliant, great, and in the middle of the summer. Outside, the ski lifts are not working. During the winter, thousands of winter sports fans descend on Oberhof at an altitude of some 815 meters to enjoy themselves among the snow-covered peaks. But the only thing that's white at the moment is the facade of the indoor ski hall. When snow falls, it almost completely blends into the surroundings. It's unusual because there is a hall. Usually indoor ski venues are built as tunnels and then covered with earth. Here we decided to build above ground and the hall is a deliberate feature in the landscape. Another striking feature, the large tunnels, which are five meters high and eight meters wide. There are three different tracks. One is a loop. The other two are dead ends. One has a 12% gradient. The idea is to give professional skiers the chance to practice here in summer and in winter, if the weather isn't suitable for skiing outdoors. Inside, there's plenty of artificial snow. It is produced overnight and then spread over the track, which measures almost two kilometers in length. Up there, we've got four snow-making machines, or cannons. Water is forced through very fine nozzles at about zero degrees Celsius and goes on to form snow at the very low temperatures that are produced in this equipment. The flooring is kept at minus 10 degrees Celsius to ensure that it doesn't melt, even if the electricity cuts out for quite a while. You can sum it up like this. The snow remains because it's cold from below and from above. It has to be insulated all over. If you completely switch off the temperature controls, it can stay like that for two days. The ski hall was built for professional athletes. The German national skiing team trains here, and the Swiss team has also travelled to Oberhof to stay on form. 30-year-old Laurent Rochard is one of the Swiss skiers. She's preparing for the 2010 Winter Olympics. This tunnel is a lot better than the other tunnels because it's well lit and it's high. In Finland, for example, there's a tunnel that's actually a motorway tunnel with no light whatsoever and no hall like here. This is better. Initially, amateur skiers could only look in through the window and watch the professionals training. But now the hall and ski tunnels have been opened up for all. We went for an hour and I'm out of breath. That's enough. <laughs> it's my first time in ages. I just hope I can get around without injuring myself. We're delighted, of course, even though the temperature and the air humidity takes a bit of getting used to. The Oberhof ski hall is already the biggest in Europe, but it's set to expand even further with plans for a shooting range for biathlon training.